Hello everyone, welcome to our Creo Learning Session number 19 on Assembly, and I'm Trisha from Product Labs. In this session, we'll be learning the assembly topics such as exploded view of an assembly, full product assembly. Stay tuned to explore more on assembly processes in Creo 3.0. In this session, we'll be learning to explode the assembly and to create the drawing of exploded state of an assembly. To do that, first, let us load the vBlock assembly into Creo session. Next, switch off all the datum planes for better visibility. We can switch off the spin center as well. Next, click on view manager in quick launch area. A pop-up window appears. In this window, click on Explode tab. Under Explode tab option, let us click on button labeled as New and enter the required name of the exploded view here. Next, click on the button labeled as Properties in the same window at bottom left corner and then click on the button labeled as Edit Position. Now, click on the component you want to explode or reposition. The moment we click on the component, a set of three arrows appears using which we can move the component in X, Y or in Z direction. Using this method, we can move all the components one by one out of the assembly. While doing this, we need to make sure that components remain in their mating axis or lines. Once exploded is done, click on this button on the top. This button is used to draw cosmetic offset lines to illustrate the movement of exploded components. Once we click here, a new window appears. Now, we have to select two references between which line has to be drawn. Let us select this component as reference 1 and the circular surface in purple component as a reference 2. Now click on Apply button. We can notice that a dashed line is created between these two reference components. In the same manner, we can create similar line on the other side of the assembly. We can also change the color and style of these lines. To do that, right click and select Modify Line Style from Menu. A new window appears. Here, under the Attributes, we can change the color and style of the line. Now, click on OK button to finish the exploded view. In the View Manager window, click on the button labeled as List. Here we can see plus sign against active exploded view, which means the view is no yet saved. To save it, Right-click on the name and select Save from the list and say OK. Now you can notice that plus sign has disappeared. To disable the exploded view state, right-click on the name and uncheck the option Explode. Now let us close the View Manager window. Next, we'll create the drawing of this assembly. To do so, let us open a new drawing file and give it a name E100014. Select the drawing format and click OK. In the drawing, you can see the title block table. To edit this, we have to click on button labeled as table in the main menu. 
Now double click on the drawing description cell and give name of the drawing as needed. Enter the document number in specified space below the description. Mention the unit of measurement as millimeter in the given box as shown. After filling the drawing details, we have to insert the assembly model into the drawing sheet. To do that, right click and select General View from pop-up window and click OK. Now. Click anywhere on the drawing sheet to get model and pop-up window. Next, select front orientation in view type categories and click on apply button followed by a click on OK button. Next, right click on the model and select projection view option to create the projection view of the model. Drag the cursor towards right to generate left view. Now, double click on the scale text to increase the size of the model. Enter the required value which suits the selected drawing sheet. For the movement of the projected views, right click on the view and click on the lock view movement option, then adjust the views. Now, to make models into line drawings, select views and go to properties by right clicking on them. In view display category, Choose Display Style as No Hidden and Tangent Edges Display Style as None. Click Apply button followed by the OK button. Now we can observe changes in the drawing sheet. To insert the isometric view of the assembly, repeat the same steps by clicking right mouse button and selecting General View and change the display style to no hidden and tangent edges display style as dimmed. Reduce the scale of the isometric view by choosing the custom scale in scale option. Now assembly drawing is created but to show the exploded view of the same model in drawing. Click on plus mark at the left bottom corner to create sheet 2. In this sheet 2, mention the description as required. Next, to create the exploded view, right click anywhere on the sheet and select the general view then click OK to continue click anywhere on the sheet to display the assembly change the scale by using custom scale option for exploded view choose view states option and select the explode components in view option and select the explode 01 from the list and click OK. Now change the view display type from default to dimmed and click OK to continue. Adjust the exploded view in sheet. Next, go back to the sheet 1. Now we have to create bill of material or BOM which indicates the type of the part and quantity of parts which are used in the assembly. To create BOM, click on the table menu and choose table option. Then select 4 into 3 table and click on the sheet. Now double click on the cell to enter the text. Write text as serial number, part number. Description and quantity in first, second, third, and fourth column, respectively. You can also change the width of the cell by selecting the required cell.
and choosing width option in pop-up window. Change the width and click on preview to see the preview and click OK. Similarly, adjust the rest of the columns. Since there are three different parts mentioned those in table, enter the numbers in first column to add To add the row for this table, click on the Add Row option in top menu bar and click on the cell where you want to create new row to the table as shown. You can also delete the Create Row by selecting the cells and choose Delete option in pop-up window, which will appear by right mouse button. Or else, you can also merge the cells by using option called Merge, which is located in top menu bar. To do that, select Merge Cells tool and click on the cells which you want to merge as shown in the graphic window. Use the Unmerge cells for unmerging the merged cells only. Enter all the required number, description and quantity in the table. Now, we have to show the respective part in drawing according to this table by highlighting the part with serial number. To do that, click on Balloon Note option in menu bar and then select the part. Choose with Leader option and click Make Note to confirm it. Then select Leader Type as required and click on the part to get window where we can enter the note in that balloon. So, now one balloon is created. Similarly, do it for other parts also as shown. In table, we can change the text style by selecting all the text at a time followed by a right button click. You can also change the height and adjust the position of the text in the cell by changing the dimension options and click OK to continue. Now, mention the assembly dimensions in the drawing, which can be done from Annotate tool. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.